How you doing? How you look like? You look, you look good. I see your sprint and you know, looking nice and smooth. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Uh, talk to us about the your preparation here in uh, Budapest since you've gotten here. Technical workouts you've been doing. Um, the weather is beautiful, I must say that. Um, preparation is going good so far. The fact that after national trials, I had to take two weeks based on the doctor's decision on my foot. So, being back in practice in spikes, um, really good, of course. The, the, the set, setback you had where, where I heard that you, you had to take a couple of weeks off or so. Uh, how are the injuries, um, or the Achilles and so on? Ah, it's going good thus far. I'm, I can't complain. You know, I don't really talk. I, I don't like to talk about the Achilles injury because it's an injury that pops in when it's ready. And honestly, I just wanted to maintain for the rest of the season and to, you know, um, give me the energy to go out there to bring the team to qualify for the finals for the four by one. So at this moment, I wouldn't say it's hundred hundred percent, but I am working on it just to stay healthy for the rest of the season and to you know looking forward for the upcoming races that I have left for the season. I notice you've been working out under the guidance of Shaniki Osborne recent since recently. Tell me about this coaching arrangement. Well pretty much as a pro athlete you um you're gonna make addition and adjustment for improvement and I think having her being a part of my, my squad will help me prepare for the for the future and for the upcoming Olympics and championships to come. What prompted you to make this coaching um, change at this stage? It was something in my mind from I, um, a year and a half now, you know, um, wanted her to come on the team. And I think after the trials, I said, okay, why not call her to come to be a part, feel her out now before we start the 20, 2024 season. So I think working with her now, um, prior to the end of the season, I think it could give me more, I would say more decision to see if I really want or stick with her for the rest of the years to come or stuff like that. But, you know, I'm just working with her for the moment and if that's what I like and based on how she works and if her works can bring back the speed, okay, I have a problem with, um, having her on my team. How has it been working with her? You would have known her from uh, the MVP days back. You know, she's cool. She... Is a person know what she's looking for for and and based on what we discuss and talk about stuff that bothers my injury and trying to prevent doing stuff that work it up or act it up so you know a team makes the dream work and i'm looking for somebody to you know help me to be back where i was and and i think making adjustment you know and having the right mindset and she knows me like for years now so work with her so I can can be so I know she will help me to get me back where I was before so your husband no longer plays a coaching role he's still a part of the team of course we will never lift him out um obviously you've had a really difficult part of the season because of the injuries in the build-up in that short time between the championships do you feel that injury well health-wise better now than it was when you when you kind of started the 100 meter slate my injury is very frustrating, I must say, and it always acts up when I am supposed to open my season, I don't know why, but it is a part of the sport, I must say. I try to always manage it the best I can, but, you know, it's a part of my story. Everybody's story cannot be the same, and I think I would have a different story from everybody. It's just very unfortunate I'm not able to participate in an individual event this year but the fact that I have been struggling this season you know I think I have speed in me but because of the injury that prevented me from doing that you know national trials tell me that I still have a lot because it take it take it took me two weeks to prepare and I got a level and level one what if I had gotten more work into that I probably could have booked my spot individually but you know God put you in places sometime, you know, to prepare for something that is coming big. And I know and I can feel that something bigger and better is coming. And I'm just going to be patient and wait for what God has in store for me, even though this season was a test. And sometimes it forces you to give up, but I think I'm tougher than that. And I take my time to cry and to let it out, but I'm fine now, so... Yeah. Would you ever consider going back to Stephen Francis? No, I won't. For, um, obviously, now the, um, the preparation is now for the 4x1. How 
well do you feel to make sure that you'll be able to help Team Jamaica get the goal as considering that, you know, last year um, was not possible? First and foremost, I will never jeopardize my team. If I know I'm not fit, I will not be here. And I'm happy that I was selected on the squad to help my team to qualify for the 4 by one And I know we can win that goal. So my duty is to help them qualify and that's why I'm here. You're such a veteran at this level now. Do you give advice to the younger athletes or do they come to you for um, such things? Yeah, they do. I get DMs all the time. And this sport is a very tough one. It is called sports. It's not a failing sport because if you're not pushing your body, if you're not working hard, you'll not feel pain. You'll not have nothing to work on. And I know people might think that because you don't do well, you fail. It's not failing sports. And for me, I think I learn every year and I know I learn more about my body because sometimes I listen to your body you do breaks down they give you signs when to back off and when to sit and I think this season will help me to prepare next year for Paris I don't know if that's what he wanted but <laughs> I just take it and sometimes I cry sometimes I laugh based on the thoughts that I have in my track career it's up and it's down it's not on a even surface but I don't question God. I do sometimes, I'll be honest. I question him. But I ask him why me. But nevertheless, I think when you're a true champion, you're not going to have everything sum up the way you want it. And if I was a winning, winning person, maybe I would be very bored. I don't have anything to work on. I'm probably thinking of retiring. But the fact that I have so much hurdles and obstacles to fight I will keep on fighting because I do believe I'm the greatest female sprinter of all time and until it's proven yeah I can repeat whatever I have done before so I'm just working on myself and trying to come back in the best shape that I am I know most persons might be worried that Elaine is done and stuff like that but it is sports you have injuries and when you have an injury that is lingering and it never fixed it's going to bother you forever but my main objective and goal is to always maintain it the best of my abilities and you know? all. Yeah, and just continue to be a motivation for younger boys and girls. And you know, nothing in life that is not challenging that you cannot face. And I would just say to them, just continue to stay focused, work hard, never say never. Never let anybody tell us you cannot or you cannot do this because trust me, Rome never been in one day, you know. and. People might seem that um, track and field is an easy sport. It's not because you prepare your body for, I would say, eight months for a championship. You have diamonds, you have development meets, and those meets help you to be a world champion or Olympic champion, not just by champs race in March or April. So it's a long stretch, and I use my key word is always to believe because if I tell myself I'm going to break the world record, no one will believe you. I have to start within myself and I write on my goals and my aims and aspiration what I aspire I always work towards them and just continue to believe in yourself and always put God first and if you have people around you that supports you and keep you on a positive level just have them in your corners because sometimes you don't need those people to bring you back up and I have a lot of friends around me that keeps me going my husband of course so Thanks to all my loving fans and friends and supporters for the kind words and you know to keep lifting me up and that's why I'm here. No problem. Thanks a lot. You